Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new features in Mountain Lion. So let's start by looking at iCloud. So iCloud is now integrated into Mac OS X with documents, just like it has been with iOS 5. So let me run text edit. And seeing so text edit here, I actually have two modes in the open dialog box. Let me zoom in on this so you can see. Uh, you can see the first mode. Uh, is iCloud and the second mode is on my Mac. When you have all my Mac selected, it's just like before. But iCloud gives you access to your documents saved to iCloud, including ones that would be available on your iOS devices. So here's one I have uh, saved to iCloud. Instead of doing this, let me create a new document here and let me type something and then save it. And you can see the Save dialog box also has for under where you can do iCloud or you can go and select a regular finder folder. So if I switch to documents I can expand the window and have all my normal stuff. Um, if I go back to iCloud it really only allows me to create a name. So let me just uh, save this as a second document here. Um, I'll close it and I'll run text edit again. And you can see now I have two documents uh, saved here. Now you can open one of these or switch to on my Mac to open a file that's on your local drive. Uh, another neat thing is you can create folders by simply dragging and dropping on top and it will create a folder. It looks just like an iOS folder. So two new apps that we have. One is the Reminders app and this creates similar functionality to what you had before inside of iCal um, with uh, uh, you'd be able to set events. But this is reminders just like you have on iOS now. And of course this uses iCloud as well and will sync up with your iPhone. For instance, I can create a new list. Uh, so I can have two different lists here. Once I have a list I can create a reminder and I can um, then click on the information button for this reminder and create things like uh, when to remind me um, priority, things like that. So the Reminders app kind of removes that uh, and puts that into a single app. Likewise you have a Notes app now which mimics the iOS Notes app and syncs with it as well. So uh, you can actually uh, create different notes in here um, very easily, search through your notes uh, and then share the notes even as well. Now the Messages app is part of Mountain Lion. Of course the beta was part of Lion so a lot of you may already have experience with it. But you can use your iCloud account, your Apple ID uh, really to send iMessages and you can send them to iOS devices and other Macs. So it doesn't work with the SMS system out there so you can't just send to a random uh, cell phone out there. But you can send to somebody that has an iPhone and is signed up for iMessage. And it's a lot easier to type on your Mac keyboard sometimes uh, than it is to type on a phone. Now a big new feature is the Notification Center. And you can see it here behind me. I just click on that little icon there. Uh, let's go ahead and move me over so you can see a little clearer. So it basically is this little sliding area here next to the Spotlight button. Uh, and you'll get notifications for different things like say when you get an email message for instance uh, or something else happens uh, on your system. If you've used Growl before it's kind of similar to that at least in concept. Uh, and you also get notifications here when you get messages. Uh, all sorts of different things happen and third party software can hook into this to, uh, to actually you know, send you notifications for different things that happen. So uh, we can see here if we get a new email message. There we go. We see we got a notification there and I can actually select it and it will jump to mail to show me that email message there. And here's what it looks like when you actually get the email message and you are uh, you don't have the notifications center open on the right. You'll still get a little message uh, you'll see quickly appear on the screen here in a second. Another new feature is dictation. Uh, kind of like Siri on iOS but just the dictation portion. You can go into system preferences and under there you could turn on dictation and in this case I'm going to use a shortcut that's default uh, which is press the function key twice but you can do it uh, in many different ways. So let me try it here. This is a test. There you go. And it, it just did that off of the microphone on the MacBook Air that I'm using for this demo. 
So in Safari, there's two big things I want to show you. First is there's a share button. If you, you can click this and you can email the page, uh, send it to Twitter, send it via message. Uh, also, notice that there's no search box over here anymore. It's just one box. So if I want to search for something, um, I just type in words here and it recognizes that this is different than uh, typing a URL. Also, of course, in Mount Lion, you now have Game Center, which is similar to Game Center uh, in iOS, but of course, uh, different games for the Mac. And you just have to wait as your favorite game adds Game Center functionality to it as well. And another cool function here is this AirPlay button here. So now you can do AirPlay from your Mac just like you could, say, from your iPad. So you can see here I can select one of my Apple TVs and actually mirror the screen of my Mac on Apple TV. So AirPlay was uh, possible before with the video, but this time you can actually mirror your screen. So there's a look at some of the exciting new features in Mountain Lion. Now a lot of these I'm going to be focusing in on in specific tutorials to come and also be bringing up some more new things in Mountain Lion in the episodes in the coming weeks. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.